Hey guys, welcome to Project Zomboid. We're gonna try an insane difficulty playthrough right here. This is the 28 days later settings Project Zomboid, so... All the zombies are sprinters, and I seem to have spawned in an outhouse. Uh, we're on... We're actually on a, a pretty awesome map. We're on Atox Warriors Eerie Country map. Uh, which contains a lot of farmlands, cities, and just terrain layouts that are really not like anything else that you see in the rest of the game. Um, I'm really excited to try this. I've also got on Super Survivors, and I mean, I'll have a whole list of my mod settings, but I just tried to make it as unpredictable for myself as possible. I don't know if I'll survive more than two or three videos here, but I mean, like, ideally I could survive a long time on this, but a lot of it's going to depend on me never making contact with any zombies, because, <laughs> like, they're pretty stupid when I do encounter them, but they're going to be, uh, like, they're going to be really fast, and I've tried it, and you can get swarmed really, really quickly. Um, damn, I didn't even, I've never even noticed that the wheat sways in the wind. That is really nice. Okay, our character is, what is even my name? My name is Steven, Steven, my name is Steven. Um, I am 27, male, weight 60. I've actually made myself really underweight, um, which is totally fine, because you can find a lot of food, at least at the beginning very, very easily, and especially processed food, so we can gain back that weight pretty quickly. Uh, I'm strong, I'm athletic, but I'm a slow reader, so my skills overview is, I don't have anything except for, I just have tons of fitness and strength, because I don't want to bother with those, because they take a really long time. Haven't killed any zombies yet, because I just spawned in it. You know, the outhouse had blood on the wall, it's coming back to me, so I guess I was just in like a very bad session of diarrhea. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna see if we can just get some early experience. I think we're spawning in, uh, it's July, 9 a.m., so it's a standard spawn, so right now my my stories should be on TV. And we're gonna see if we can get some cooking experience right off the bat. Uh, not that we'll probably be using it, but it's basically free experience, so I will take that. And I don't actually know, if you read the book on cooking while you're watching TV, do you gain experience? F I presume that you would gain experience faster, because... Let's just find out right now. Oh shit, there's also zombies in here. I yes, I forgot about that. Okay, yes, yeah, so they have like the they have the Naruto run. Shit, I th I thought I heard more. I'm really gonna have to turn the volume up here because like the the zombies might not hear me. They have poor sight, poor smear poor smearing, poor hearing, and poor smell. But um if they find me, I'm fucked. So, I really, like, I really gotta, you know, I gotta dot my I's and cross my T's, as they say. I gotta be really careful as we go about. I'm gonna try to check every single room, and if I, like, if I get swarmed by even two, I'm probably fucked. I'm probably gonna die if that happens. Um, I, I don't even really think I should go too much into scratch defense in this game, only because running away is gonna be a much better shot. Uh, let's just make sure that there's not a lot out here. I did try, like, I tried setting up the whole scenario, and for the first couple days, at least, I think you're okay, because not too many spawn in. Um, there's a decent amount of loot in the world, too. Okay, let's uh, just turn on the TV. Turn on stories. And we're on pause TV. We want to go to life and living. Okay, so I think we're in the middle of the cooking show. I am a slow reader, though, so let's just see. I'm going to speed up time for a second just because I want to see. Okay, so my cooking skill did go up by a little bit. We're probably almost at the end of the program here, but... I'm going to read the book while the TV is going. Out. Oh, wow, you still can gain cooking skill while you're reading. That's insane. Okay, tomorrow we'll have to try to turn on the TV again just so we can get a little bit more cooking skill with that upgrade if we can, but I don't want to waste too much of this day because it's kind of a rare time right now as there won't be a lot of zombies in, uh, having spawned here at all. I might even be better off with a pipe wrench than a wood axe. The wood axe is really slow to wind up, wind up, so I was thinking of just leaving it there. Only because any item that takes a long time to wind up is going to be next to useless to me. The one thing I'm going to have to control myself with is I can't really encounter more than one at a time. Like, that one that I fought back there is about all that I can take at a time. We did pretty well with early loot spawns, though. We got food, wood glue. We got a lot of stuff to repair. We almost have enough to... Yeah, we have enough to make a sheet rope now, too. 
I'm gonna remove these curtains, and I do know a little bit of this map. The one reason why I picked Erie County is because I don't know it very well. Um, and I know that there happens to be a warehouse pretty close by. And I'm thinking of setting shop over there, so I'm just gonna jump out the window. I don't really know why I jump out the window so much. I think it's just because there's so often I'm trapped in rooms. That's probably it. All right. So the coast looks pretty much clear for now. But I'm still going to stay crouched because I do want to develop this skill as much as possible. If we do start to get a lot of spawns coming in about a month, when <laughs> it's going to be impossible to play this. Um, then I'm thinking like, I, I want to have decent enough sneak skill for then. And it'll probably be pretty easy to sneak past a lot of them until then. Okay, three right here. I don't want to fight those ones, so I'm going to hop the fence. How are we doing inventory? Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm going to put this on my back, too. That's better. Okay, so we got, we got a hatchet. And I probably wouldn't even want a hammer for quick swap, so I'm just going to leave that there. And that's pretty much fine. Okay, now I am going to keep sneaking. I want to be able to sneak around quickly, though, so I'm going to fast sneak around. How is it over here? I really, really like what he did with these warehouses. Like, the whole map, honestly, it, remind, it reminds me a lot of the DayZ map. Like, all the abandoned warehouses and stuff. This is the place that I'm talking about. I'm thinking that this would probably be the best place to set up. Only because there's a lot of boarded up windows already. It, you know, it's kind of inaccessible. I think it would be hard to get to the second floor. Like, it's even overgrown on the... In ah, that's really nice. You can get a lot of map making ideas just by looking at Atox's work. It's insane. Okay, so that's locked. But that's pretty good, though. We actually, like, this, even just this area back here, you know, despite the fact that it's pretty visible, like, I feel like that this would make a decent spot. Only because there's so much vertical here. Okay, let's get up to the roof. I'm thinking, like, up here. Like that, this chair, <laughs> this chair is my new bed. And I, I did see another survivor spawn in here before. I, I don't know if we'll find many, but I think that there are a few just like randomly scattered. I saw one on a rooftop once, just like standing on a roof. That does sometimes happen with the survivors. Okay, yeah, there are some on the other side of that door. Okay, uh, fuck. I don't want to waste a lot of energy waiting for them to come through that door, so I think I'm just going to go back here. This way, okay, there is actually a strategy in this. So once they get through the door, then they'll hop this fence, and then they'll probably, well yeah, then they'll be vulnerable once they've fallen over it. And then I can kill them. And that's okay. Okay, I have to get the fuck out of here. Alright, I'm just going to wait for that door to open up. Okay, I'm going to try to give him a little bit of help. And, wow, never had that happen before. But, either way, let's, okay, let's hop the fence really quick. And, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh, he got right back up. I haven't seen that yet. Well, damn. I'm thinking that probably the best way to deal with these things is going to be to always push them down. Okay, baggy jeans. Uh, I think my current jeans are pretty much fine. Scratch defense by, def yeah, 2020 or 1020. Yeah, we're pretty much the same. So that wasn't really even worth it. But you know what? We're alive, but he did break down the door. But it wouldn't be too hard to put it back up. All right, so this is <laughs> this disgusting place is our new home. Um, I'm just going to try to scout out the inside, see if I can find any of them in here. Because they're going to be pretty quiet, because they they have poor sight and hearing, so they can't hear me as I come along, but uh, when they do see me, got time to hightail it. Okay, here's somebody. I'm scared they're going to come up from over there, too. Oh, nice, like a break room or something. Take a dump in here. Nope, nobody, okay. All right, it looks like there might be some tools in this warehouse as well. Okay, so we're, uh, we're we're in business here. This is not a bad place. But let's just see where we're hearing that other one from before I start to explore any of the other stuff. 
could be in the men's room or the women's room. Could be taking a dump. I was taking a dump at the beginning. Nope. Nobody. Okay, let's try here. I swear, it's always in the toilets that they... Sp okay, you know what? I Knock on wood, I'm all right. And this is the bottom floor. This I probably won't want to spend any time on the bottom floor only because it's so exposed. All right, this is pretty much our base. Uh, I think we could I think we could live here because it's three floors. It's got a lot of crap in it already. Um, I'll unlock these doors just so I can get in and out easily. And then... Yeah, there weren't even too many spawning around here. And what even makes this better is that there's a fence halfway around the whole thing anyway. So that kind of, uh, you know, leads them off. Unfortunately, the backside isn't covered, but, uh, you know, it's whatever. Um, and we could also build a bridge over to the other building. Fuck. 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 Okay, you gotta sprint away from these things, too. I've seen them, like, in action a lot. Ooh, shit. Get that man we're really gonna confront the limitations of the animations right now as we do this uh fuck yeah three is way too many that's that's practically just like a huge horde that we're talking about right there so i'm gonna leave them behind goodbye and yeah if only i had a bow and arrow right now i would use it all right i'm just gonna try to forget that those ones are down there and Take care of my other needs. You don't want to be fighting at all unless if you're in like peak condition. And I really can't fight with this wood axe only because it's got such a slow wind up. So I think for now we'll just head back down to that break room and jump out the window if they do come up to me. Okay, let's see if there is some water in there. Shit, no, okay. Ah, fresh orange though. All right, I'll, I'll settle for that. Uh, propane torch. We can do metal working with that, but I don't need it right now. All right, maybe no another box of nails. Not bad items. Not bad items at all. But there's just other things that are more pressing right now. Like I need some kind of short blunt weapon would be great, or something stabby. I also added in the pole arms too, so that I actually would stand a chance. <laughs> like if they come up to me and there's I don't know twenty of them. Um, well, not 20 of them, but if, if there's one of them, I at least have a little bit better reach, so I have a little bit more time to work with before they come to me. Pool cue, can you be... I mean, it's got range, but it's pretty weak, so I think I'm going to leave that there. All right, nope, nothing. Let's just try to deal with those other ones one by one. Okay, found an axe and a sledgehammer. So these are pretty much going to get me through the early game. Axe, I believe, also has better wind-up time than the uh, than the wood axe. The wood axe seems to take forever to swing with. Uh, which is kind of fitting, I guess, that the axe is more of a weapon and the wood axe is more of a tool. But, uh... I'm not fucked. Oh! Oh! Ladies! Ladies! Goodbye! All right, I think they got a bite attempt in on me there, but that just shows no more than one at a time, ever. No more than one. Yeah, yeah, I did take a uh, maybe slight damage. Nah, I think I am all right. But still, still, that's friggin' crazy. Okay, there should be one more over here, and I think they also broke down the... D yep, Mr. Bathrobe guy. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, confirmed. Yeah, when we when we fight in the future, uh, first run, then try to go in for a push, and then go in for the hit with the weapon. I, I don't think that the weapon hits are gonna are gonna be very reliable with these printers, or I'll just probably get enraged and frustrated if I do try to use them. Uh, this place, you know, like it's just abandoned enough for it to feel homey in the zombie apocalypse. This building. But I am starting to hear crickets now. Does that mean it's night? I think we're coming up on night. All right, I guess I'll try to clear out the rest from this area, and then we'll just uh, we'll probably go to bed tonight. But I'm I'll I'll see if I can get like a little bit of defenses around me too, so I'm not totally screwed. All right, I found a slightly more reliable home. It turns out that in the second floor of the uh, other warehouse, not that first one, um, although it's not quite as scenic. Uh, there is a water cooler, so I'm gonna have a good source of water for a pretty long time. It's got, I can't remember the water unitage, 
uh, that it's got, but it's it's plenty of water to keep me alive for a while. Plus, there's also a lot of farming equipment in here, and I think, like, I'd rather not over-loot all the processed foods right away, only because I did that in one of my last series, and uh, I started to lose a lot of weight really quickly. So I think I'm just going to go straight into water, uh, planting crops. Um, there's a shovel in here. I believe I need a trowel, though. Um, you can't, I mean, you can, like, dig with your hands, but then you're going to get bloody hands, and it's no good. Um... But yeah, there's plenty of seeds in here, and I should be able to start a couple farms on the ground. Not too many zombies treading, you know, to and fro, uh, just because there are fences all around here. But it seems like a pretty natural base to start from. I'm going to start here, and we'll see what we can do from there. Um, I think I'm just going to try to dig some plots on the ground, just so we have crops right away. Okay, well, it's going to be night. I sowed seeds in about eight plots of land. Uh, we also cut down the trees that we needed for this spot. Still not walled in, and I'm pretty hungry and tired, so I think I'm just going to make one last really, really quick run out for some bite to eat, and then I'm going to come back here and go to bed on the second floor, because I hear a zombie around here, but I don't see it. Um, and I'm kind of questioning it, because I've gone all around and I can't find anything anywhere. <laughs> so, um, But I do have a door between me and them, and I'll try to wall myself in a little bit more, just so I have some, you know... Uh, audio cues for when they're coming in. I'll also put a sheet rope right behind me for when I sleep. Um, I think I have the sheet ropes. Yeah, I have the sheet ropes and the nail that I need. So I should be able to get that going. That's a pretty good fail safe for the first day to have a closed door and a sheet rope right behind you. Um, but I won't have much time if they do uh, get me. Uh, we can do sheet rope right here. So now we can get in and out pretty easily in case if something comes through that goddamn door. <laughs> Eventually I'll probably just barricade that, but that's fine. Um, okay, food and then sleep. All right, it turned out I had some peanuts in my pocket, so I'm just going to eat. I ate those and we'll go to sleep. I think I'll take it for one more day. I'd like to do... Like I, 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 I miss the immersion of the Project Zomboid videos, and I think I'm going to do no more than one or two days at a time, but I want them to be complete days as I play. Okay, we just woke up on the second day. And now we're pretty hungry, no surprise there. I'm not even going to waste the time watering my plants. Um, I'm just going to wait for the rain to do it because I want to automate that as much as possible. If I don't get a lot of rain and I've planted everything, then I'll probably give it like one round and then I'll just wait for it to happen. Oh, we already got a few... That's what I'm talking about. It's going to get really difficult really fast. Like, they spawn way more as time goes on. But, like, she's getting caught on the fence too. Yeah. But they aren't, they aren't tough once I, like, once I throw them down, they're pretty weak. Which is probably the main advantage of this challenge. Anyway, I know that there's a little bit more town, though. I'm kind of unfamiliar with the surroundings over here, so... I think I'm just going to explore here for today. Maybe we can get a little bit more time with life and living. Uh, or whatever the cooking channel is. Yeah. And we should also be able to gain a couple other skills from that, too, but... Yeah, we don't have a TV in those warehouses. Now, let's just deal with this one guy... Like I said, I think that this is usually the most reliable way to deal with them. But I'm like I'm I'm doubling it on the uh on the push, then hit them when they're down. I think that's the best way to do it. Can we get like a chicken coop? Yeah, this is the house that I was at the first day, so I guess I'll go to this house. They'll probably have a TV here too. Yep, there it is definitely <laughs> that's the most nineties TV I've seen in a long time. Man, I miss those TVs. Uh, in general, I don't trust doors anymore. Used to trust them. Don't anymore. Fuck, fuck. Gah. I'm expecting them to come just from anywhere. Oh, I'm... That makes sense. I'm outside now. Okay. <laughs> See, this is why I like playing on maps I've never tried before. Okay. Let's see if we could sneak up to her. That's good. That's exactly how that should go. Uh, close that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And let's just turn on the TV really quick. <laughs> Quickly, turn on the TV! No, life and living TV. If only I could find a watch, I could figure out what time it is. That's probably sometime in the morning I'll likely be able to catch some of it. Nope, it is nothing on TV. Great. Don't know when the power will go off, but probably soon. Uh, farming we will want to grab. 
That'd be a good book to have. In fact, I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. How to use generators also. Carpentry. F wow, we are getting really good luck on books. I did not expect that. Okay. Not thinking too much about the... Ooh, pie. Not thinking too much about, like, the coming months uh, in terms of temperature because it's July. Uh, we got time. But, you know, it's, it's only getting colder from here is the way I like to look at it. And it, you know, you don't really seem to get that, like, overheated Moodle. You remember in the original, uh, or in build, like, 37, 38, you would always get so overheated that you just have to constantly take off your shirt. So, <laughs> like, everybody was just some dude without a shirt on and uh, carrying an axe. <laughs> it was just, like, the most overpowered way to play. Oh, God, I miss those. I miss those days. One day we'll go back to build 37. We're on, like, build 45 or something. All right. Well, it looks like we missed life and living, I'm thinking. So I guess I'm just going to head back to my house. Uh, well, I don't like missing out on a lot of this. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll see if I can find a car. Make, like, a quick attempt for a car while there still aren't so many in the world. And then we'll head back and we'll probably try to finish off our farms. All right, what does this one have? Uh, free bandage, but no, uh, oh, fuck, here you come. I'm looking at those trees, because I don't want any of them to come out of there. Nothing I need. Great. And that's locked, too. I could, I guess I could break, I don't, though I don't think you can even peek in trunks, even if you do break in the window, for some reason. Ah, this is good. This is good local flavor. I need this. That is that is really nice. Actually, I can't I can't remember any other spot in Project Zomboid where I've seen that. Right, so it looks like this was like the local community church. So I'm guessing that there's probably more residences over here. If we saw one, it's probably a highway over here, and then this looks like some kind of gated community. This would probably be our best bet. This might even be a better base than our warehouses, come to think of it, but... Ooh, fuck. <laughs> They're really funny to look at when they're sprinting. I, l I like these animations better, though, than the old ones. I occasionally you find, like, Naruto run ones. Okay, let's... Come on. As long as it's one or two at a time, we're all right. Nothing on her. What about you? Holy baloney. Shit, that is nice. I gotta live there. <laughs> Fuck my old house. We're gonna use this. No more. No more living in a warehouse. I mean, we might keep it for the crops, but Jesus. Look at how nice this is. I bet they have seeds out the bazoo. Fuck, there's gonna be a lot in here, though. Oh, sh shite. Is this even a ha This is not a house. There's, like, jewelry cases. This is either the greatest criminal's house or, like, one of those southern plantation homes, you know? I'm gonna see if I could... If I could take out this first one, then I'll fight the rest. Because they are gonna be pretty weak here. Come on, can I get you to come out this... Oh, wrong window. Wrong window. Nope. Ooh, I'm. Am I gonna be fucked? Fortunately, even though they're sprinters, they. That is why I like the hot bar. Axe just broke, if you couldn't tell. Um, ooh, police jacket. That's good. Now the hot bar is good because I didn't have to go do like some inventory swap while I was happening. Okay, it, suddenly we're in Resident Evil in this mansion. Another one. He had a screwdriver lodged in him. Could use that. This is it. Uh, unless if... Fuck, you think like 20 will come from around a corner? That's that's my main worry right now. Oh, the hat fell off. Mine. There we go. Okay, now, we are so much closer to being Rick Grimes than we were five minutes ago. Uh, nothing there. Okay. Keep heading up. 
I could have sworn there was somebody. This is a really nice house. I would. Ooh, fuck. There we go. Okay, another one bites the dust. And how are there so many people living in this house? Like one of those communal families. All right, here we go. They adopt just a crap ton of children. Okay. Ooh, you gotta have good reaction time. All that FPS training is paying off finally. All right, nothing on him though. I'm kind of thinking, like, should I even have on these military boots and all this other scratch defense gear, or am I just better off going with sneakers and running as much as possible? It doesn't even look like this place is a house. It looks like it's half house, half, like, museum, you know? Alright, well, this place is pretty armed up. Um, maybe not armed up, but it's got a lot of crap in it, so maybe I'll stay here instead. Uh, my axe is broken, but I've got I've I've got the means to repair it. That's why I was using the axe so much earlier. I'll throw that on the ground. I'm not used to seeing the weapon models on the ground, but I like it somehow. I like it. I'm. It it belongs there, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the rest of this place. You know what? Damn, this place is not bad. It's got fences on all sides. It's got curtains. It's pretty well taken care of to begin with. I, I think maybe no warehouse. Let's live in this plantation home. Not a bad place. Oh, damn. Look at that. Like, detailing on the windows. Man, like, he he really goes all out for this map, though. It's nice. And there should be more... Oh, whoa. Are those... Can I use those? If I can use those, then that will be my new farm instead. Let me... Let me just be uber careful as I go through here. But holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, I might be able to use those farm plots for crops. And if not, it's still a massive field. That would be really, really good if that's all... <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine, though? I think food can, can rot here. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what? Oh, fuck. Fuck, why did I just- I just dug up some shrubberies. This is all actually strawberries waiting to grow, because you can go into the info tab, and it, it's well watered. So this entire field is going to become a massive field of strawberries for me to eat. So, like, what this means is... Yes, I'm running over the crops, but who cares. Um, we have so many goddamn strawberries. Holy shit, I'm gonna subsist off of strawberries for months. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a way to preserve these. I'll either need a lot of jars or I'll just need to get very creative. Either way, we'll also have a lot of seeds if we tend them well enough, but there's no way I'm gonna spend the whole time watering those. Okay, uh, n things that you need for living are food, water, shelter. Uh, I have water. I can bring back the water cooler from the other uh, warehouse. I have shelter at, right here. I can barricade this place. It's also got a fence around it from the outside. And shelter, water, food. Uh, food right behind me in a couple days. We'll have tons and tons of food. Okay, I'd say we pretty much found everything that we need to survive at this point. Um, so I guess I'm just going to spend the rest of the day like fortifying this mansion a little bit. Getting some of the bodies out of it. Uh, and then hopefully blocking off that front wall. Uh, don't be fooled right now because there aren't a lot here. But yeah, even right there. There's more spawning in every single day and... Like, I was surprised with my last playthrough because I thought it would get way too easy, but it, it got really freaking hard as time went on. Um, so I really want to approach this cautiously. Alright, uh, so I finished closing all the curtains and the windows and everything else, and I've checked the jewelry storage, and I can find nothing but, like, nails all over the house, so I guess it was just some sort of, like, uh, maybe the person who invented nails lived here. I can't think of any other real explanation. Um, a couple more zombies came in and I buried their corpses, and there's still blood everywhere, but who cares, because blood, it's just, I don't think it really has any negative effects, I think it just makes your entire life more unpleasant. Um, so we'll just, <laughs> let's do that, and we have the master bedroom, um, to sleep in. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that I might need, I have a belt already, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, food is a slight, is a slight worry, but I found this gogurt. Uh, like yogurt, but to go. 
Uh, so I'm gonna have this, and then, uh, yeah, I, th I think that's pretty much the whole day. Uh, there's gonna be a crap ton more stuff happening later. Um, but I think at this point, I'm just gonna read electricity for beginners, because we once we find a car, uh, we want to start hot wiring as soon as possible. Co hot wiring, carpentry, and farming and electric all good skills to have uh but i really don't want to have to stay in one place as much as possible you know in general that's that's great and i also want to explore erie county so i think i'm just going to spend the rest of the day reading these books go to bed and then we'll call it uh we'll call it a day for the first <laughs> i don't know i guess i'll make it my goal to survive 28 days um even though he wakes up 28 days later but nah who gives a shit um We'll do that, and then we'll try to say survive 28 weeks, which would be much, much more difficult. But, yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the day. Anyway, I think I'm just going to speed this through to the end of the night. And now, yeah, we're getting really tired. I'll need to look for food tomorrow. It is getting dark, and I am getting thirsty. should probably also get some water, and I hope that it rains so that we can get a, a thousand strawberries to eat. Those are bound to, you know die before we can eat them all. Anyway, I think I'm going to go to bed there because my needs are getting a little bit too overwhelming. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, maybe there's some other things that I can do to make it truer to the 28 days uh, series. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, and thanks for all the uh, support and help. Anyway, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. But wait, there's more. I wanted to go through a quick rundown of my mods and settings since a lot of people seem to ask about these things. My map's Eerie Country. Uh, it's by Atox Warrior. Please check out his other stuff. It's really, really cool. It's one of my favorite maps. Um, I've also got on Filibuster Rhymes used cars. Uh, great models in this mod. Just can't say enough about it. Um, more pole arms and superb survivors, which may or may not appear since I'm in Erie County. Uh, I don't really know what the spawns are, but I've seen one or two around, so maybe I'll run into somebody. It keeps it unpredictable for me. And Unique Z. Uh, and as for the actual sandbox settings, I made a sandbox game, um, and I made a preset. I just called it I Am Legend. It's very similar to my old I Am Legend playthroughs, so I worked off of something like that. Um, pretty much everything on default, except that I changed them to sprinters. Um, i to think of other things. I set the loot up slightly more, just so it wasn't horrible. Uh, and yep bad sight hearing and smell i made them um, pretty uh bad memory short-term memory I'm trying to remember did i make them I, I mean even if i didn't you should make them weak because these uh, like if they're sprinting at you you won't want them to be strong otherwise it's gonna be too hard um and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you try out the settings please support the modders um if you want to do anything i'll try to link to some of their pages below